Amazing! Gracious! Another person's passport choice, Lori! Yay! Yay! Amazing! Gracious! Another person's passport choice, Lori! Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. <laughs> well, it's very early now and I am about to have my breakfast. Okay, uh, so uh, we have sleepovers here in the office because of the pandemic. You know, we have special arrangements uh, wherein we get a chance to actually sleep in the office and I'm basically the earliest bird who will catch the worm here in the office. So for breakfast, I got a good bag from 7-Eleven. Here it is. I have to keep quiet because uh, <laughs> there's not much people here. So uh, the environment, uh, the whole office is still very quiet. So I got a bag from 7-Eleven. And let's see what's inside. We have a black pink can of Pepsi. You might be wondering that it's quite unusual to have a uh, soda in the morning. Oh, I, I don't know. It's, kind of works for me. And then I also got this chocolate bar. It's very Christmassy and uh, yeah, <laughs> take it. It's like a rip off of um, Kit Kat perhaps or probably the original. So this is great. Uh, now the reason why I bought it because I'm just a very Christmassy person. I just love packages. Uh, packagings with Christmas motif or anything Christmas related even if we're in the middle of uh, June we're in the middle of the year it's basically July 1 already and I'm buying a Christmas chocolate and then I also have this uh, favorite of mine it's a cheese what's this cream cheese pimiento I don't know what is it about cheese and cream and pimiento it sort of uh, works well in my palate. It's one of my favorite sandwiches, sandwiches in the world. So I had it toasted. So it's going to be a perfect breakfast for me. And also, <laughs> well, I've got to buy a toy. Otherwise, uh, it won't be a, a Percy's Fast Food Toy Story without it. So I also bought from 7-Eleven this <laughs> LOL toy. Isn't it great? with an itty bitty cutie toy of an LOL. I don't know what LOL stands for, but apparently they're very popular in the market. Yeah. <laughs> so here it is, look at that. This is a cute uh, little LOL doll. I think when you buy LOL dolls, uh, they're basically co a complete package. You have um, some clothing there. You can dress up your doll and some accessories. So it's a miniature doll that you can basically play around with, and it's encapsulated with a very fancy capsules that uh, LOL is very known for. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this is it, and then beneath will be um, yeah, a wonderful illustration of an LOL doll. Now let's open it up. Okay. How do we open this? I don't want to ruin it. Wait a minute. Uh, do we have to remove the whole plastic? I think we do. Oh. Wait just a minute. <laughs> oh, this is really... Well, it's my first time to it. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think that's how it works. No, no, no. Return reworked. I don't think that's a way to do it because it's tearing up the whole... Ooh. And... I just love the, the plastic uh, illustration here. So if we're going to tear the plastic, it will basically ruin the, the illustration. Oh, well anyway, to say the least, uh, it has some wonderful candies inside and I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. Delicious tasting. Wait, how do you do this? Okay, 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 I think uh, we're able to pry through some of the upper plastic so that's it and then we can pull it up <laughs> there you go 
we have this mini LOL doll and um, I, I think this is a stamper yeah oh so this is a stamper so you can stamp on people uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit disorganized here so when you stamp it on paper, it will actually create a, a wonderful pink ribbon. Okay, so you can basically fill up a, 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 an ordinary uh, typewriting paper or bond paper, and then be able to create a fancy stationery for your letters. Okay, and inside we have where there are some candies there, but they seem to have hardened up a bit. So. But they definitely taste, uh, I mean, smell great. Oh, I think they're jelly beans. I think it's because of humidity that they sort of stuck together. Oh, I love jelly beans. If I could have a stick or something, maybe this spoon would work. Uh, just to show. Oh, there. There it is. There's some jelly beans inside, and let's see what that, what, what we got. Very fruity. I just cannot uh, delineate yet what kind of fruit it is, but it's definitely delicious and it has a subtle tear. Somewhat peachy or <laughs> anyway, it's very delicious. I love jelly beans. So there are a couple more there that I have to really, really uh, pick up with this spoon perhaps. And then we will be able to have a jelly bean for dessert after we finished uh, our <laughs> uh, our uh, cream cheese pimiento. Okay, before we get into the toasted cream cheese pimiento, I'm going to do some disinfecting and then <laughs> bon appetit. This is it. I just love cheesy pimiento. Mm. Then you have a black pink soda. Oh my god. <laughs> it's perfect. Whoa. The sandwich is uh, well toasted. Can, I hope you can hear the crunch. It's very, very crunchy. And the filling is oozing with chocolate. I mean, it's oozing with cheese. With a mix of cream and some, no, of course, um, a generous uh, serving of uh, pimiento, which I love, with the cheese. Mmm. Mmm. So if you love cheese and you love pimiento, I think this is a sandwich uh, for you.
Well, that's one of our colleagues uh, again. <laughs> Okay, see you around guys, and um, I'll just finish uh, with the sandwich and the rest of my breakfast, and I hope you come back and get here at the same time, as the first is possible to tell story. So until 